Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empus. Today I want to talk to you about fishing. This isn't the type of fishing you would do at Lake Michigan though. It's something far more malicious that can result in a cyber attack. There are many different types of phishing attacks, but today I'll be covering email phishing. It's reported that more than 90% of major cyber attacks start with phishing, so it's crucial that you can spot and protect yourself from this type of attack. So how does phishing work exactly? Let's say you bank with Chase. I'm sure you would agree it would be totally normal to receive an email from them. But what if an attacker or a bad actor sent you an email that appeared like it was coming from Chase, but it really wasn't? Would you open it? The answer for most people is yes. But even more important to opening that email, would you click on a link? Would you enter your credentials? Would you download an attachment from the email? These are important things to ask yourself because the attacker is trying to get you to take some type of action. By you taking some type of action within the email, the attacker can capture personal information such as your username or password, or even launch an attack from your computer or device. Because of these threats, it's extremely important that you can identify a phishing email. Here are some of the things to look out for. First, does the email contain domain names that exactly match the purported sender? For example, does the email contain links at targetchase.com? Or do they target something like chase.mybanking123.com? If it's the latter, it may be owned by the attacker, and if you click that link, it could launch an attack. Second, is the email asking you to verify personal information? Third, is there an implied sense of urgency? For example, limited time offer or do it now? Fourth, use common sense. Is there an offer that just seems too good to be true? And lastly, does the email contain grammatical errors? This can be a great indicator of a potential phishing email. But don't worry, there are ways to mitigate the threat of a phishing attack. You, the user, are the last line of defense. So one of the most effective ways to prevent a phishing attack is to undergo security awareness training. There are plenty of businesses that offer security awareness training as a service, so I recommend looking into it. In addition to this, your IT folks can deploy safeguards such as zero trust and sandboxing. I leave you with this. If you fall victim to a phishing attack, the impact to you and your organization could be very significant. If you don't recognize an email or are unsure about it, delete the email and call the purported sender to verify its validity. Thank you.